Tanya had gotten a lot of feedback uh, when she would, from potluck events that she would go and share and bring her tea or a recipe. And she got a lot of reviews saying it's really good to me. And so when she came to me and proposed the idea that, hey, you know, I think I really got something here. I, I believe that I can make this into a business. And I said, with my business acumen and degree, I said, okay, we feel like you have the interest in the research and development on it. And um, so I, I've kind of guided her in terms of, you know, making sure she has the recipe down um, so that it could be mass produced at scale if she wanted to, but it had to be set. A lot of swap meet, um, they were they were going to give us a chance in order, but it was all based on a location, so we couldn't have a permanent uh, pop up tent there every weekend, but uh, every other weekend we could have it. And we chose there because of the foot traffic, and there's a lot of tourists that visit the Loha Swap Meet, and just to get her name out, because we are starting off as a brand new company, and it would be a good word of mouth to get to the people. Eight or ten products in terms of plate lunch. So we have T-bone chili. So we have the prank plate. We have the sausage plate. We have the chili bowl, which stems off similar, very similar to Zippy's chili, but it's just rice and chili. So that's our chili bowl. And then um, nacho chili, which it also incorporates. So each item incorporates her chili, introduces the chili. So that's the common factor in all of the, the menu, outside of the dessert. Um, most vendors at the swap meet had at least one specialty item. So we came up with them um, to be culturally appropriate to us, since we're Samoan. Um, we serve the Vaipala, which is a traditional um, dessert drink. So we do offer that on our time. But most of the menu, or great social use, and we purposely planned it that way. I was locally, uh, this compared to Zippies. Zippies is, went from being not just Hawaii based, but nationally. So there's Zippies in Las Vegas, there's Zippies all over. So that has become a well known brand. So the idea is to surpass chilies um, in terms of taste and quality. So I think uh, with the recipe she has now, she's able to do that. Doing business as, that's actually uh, Tanya's brand name uh, and my understanding is that T-Bone should be a from her name, her, her nickname that she, she's been called um, most of her, her childhood into a young adult life and my son was actually the one that gave her the idea that T-Bone uh, was her nickname.